For this episode of the A to Z of Bushcraft, we'll be looking at V for vitality. And in the first three weeks of March, the sap starts to rise up the birch tree. The sap is an incredibly rich source of vitamin C. And if we drink it, it helps to revitalize us. So for thousands of years, people have drank this sap in order to restore the balance after a long winter and give themselves the necessary vitamins to boost their immune system and really get themselves back on track for the new year. You start to see the buds forming on the ends of the twigs and that's a sign that the sap is starting to rise. Now you only have a very short window of opportunity to do this but if you drill a neat hole into the tree you can collect some of the sap as it flows through the tree and that sap is very rich in sugar and minerals and vitamin C. It's a traditional method driving the the drill bit into the wood by hand it's a method that would have been used for centuries. The traditionalists among you will absolutely hate me for this, but the method I prefer to use is a cordless drill. Because a cordless drill is a nice fast tool that creates a very, very clean hole in the tree. And a tree like this should produce quite a few litres of sap. A large damage on like this is really worth having, because you don't want a small container that will overflow. We're going to make the, the hole in the tree at a slightly upward angle, so I'm holding the drill so that I can drill in a slightly upward motion. I'm going to put our piping into there, so you need to have a reasonably close fit. This is a, a, a low expense, lightweight option, so just use old water bottles, a two litre are great, then maybe you need to check them a little bit more often than a Demijohn because they're that bit smaller. But if you strap them around the tree, it puts tension on the pipe, which helps to prevent leaks around it, and you get a really nice flow rate as well. And this sap is an incredibly rich source of vitamins and nutrients, which the tree uses in order to start its new season. So it starts all the buds and the leaves, and this is the fuel that gets everything going. And before we leave the tree, we have to make sure that we seal up the hole. Now the reason for that is because the tree will effectively bleed to death if we don't, and also it allows infection into the bark. So what we need to do is cut some nice pieces of hazel, the same diameter or slightly larger than the diameter of the hole that we've drilled in the tree, and we need to cut some pegs. Now that's properly sealed off so it can't leak anymore, and also it prevents infection getting into the tree, and the tree will now scab over, cover that, and uh, it'll be good for next year. So that's a perfectly sealed tapping hole. And that's the proper way to tap birch sap. Where the wind blows, where the river meets the sea, I'll be waiting for the day when you come back.